Welcome back to Let's Play Undermine. Last time we got started, got some relics unlocked, and most importantly, got some uh, minor stat upgrades, admittedly. We did get to the first boss already, though, which is exciting. Okay, I guess it does kind of help that. Ow, forget Okay, I see now the. I didn't actually see the pressure plates before. I've turned the game up, and it is kind of loud on my end, but we'll see if this works better. Because if I have to suffer by having only one headphone here on, eh, that's fine. Plus, it helps drown out the keyboard and mouse noises. But thank you for the health. Ooh. Nope. It was worth a try. That would... Ow. Cost a bomb to reach, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. That's what the seer tooth thing was. Okay. Uh, that's the way down, which I don't want, but I will take the goal. the relic room was directly below the spawn. Why did I not go there? What do we got here? A pauldron. Adds a point of armor to the health bar. It's common knowledge that the larger the shoulder pads, the more experienced the warrior. A wisdom of World of Warcraft. I think that's like one free hit per room, which is super good. Um... These runs are going to start off kind of mildly uninteresting. I just can't do that. I, it would cost a bomb and a key. I don't even have a key. Um, but as we go, we're going to unlock more blueprints and get more thorium to unlock more relics. It's going to get interesting. Trust me. Um, no, that doesn't look like it's going to be a secret room. Uh, do shops not spawn on the first floor, I wonder? It does seem to follow the Isaac rule of, um, the first floor item sh room will be free or relic room in this case. Which is nice. But yeah, trust me, runs of this game get crazy. Let's see, down here is... A mushroom. Interesting. Wonder if I need to bring, like, a key item here. Because, let's see. Okay, yeah, the shiitake, we can't yet. Because it is a key item used to make character quest. Jerk. That's a lot of oil. I'd like to avoid the oil. Without the oil boots. Yeah, my mobility is tanked. Wow, I'm taking a lot of dumb damage here. Um, uh, please have a key in the shop. Um, armor shard refills a point of armor. 
Miner's Flask, feel the effects of a potion for longer as a relic. Sure. I don't know why I thought... Oh, in a free potion. A flash serum. Okay. Not sure why I thought that armor regenerated. But it's good to know that there are consumables that will uh, regenerate it. At least. What have we got here? Gold Frenzy. Gain temporarily temporary damage when picking up gold. Ooh. That's interesting. I feel like that relic alone should tell you how good um, popcorn gold is. Um, let's go to that room down there. We need to fall clear for gold. Well, mostly gold. Um, let's see if the box gives either a bomb or a... Uh, I'll do a key and a bomb instead of two, three bombs. And get the bomb back. Worth it, I'd say. For some reason, I thought you started with uh, Shrines Unlocked. Huh. Yeah, that gold damage one actually seems pretty good. Oh, yes. Yeah, hit him enough and he'd start just dropping more gold and thorium. Rare chance on entering any room, I think. Oh, wow. That bomb upgrade is blocking a lot of rooms on this floor. Wait, no, those are blocks, not blocks. Oh god. It's you, I hate you. Guess we're probably doing three runs this time. Kept 207 gold. Um bomb damage, no. Let's go ahead and take some wizard upgrades. And by that I mean a wizard upgrade. I don't think a hundred will do anything for me in here. Actually, it'll do me throwing damage. Sure. Um, eight thorium should be enough for a relic, though. Wayland's boots. All right, I'll take the upgrade either way, and I don't have to worry about spikes for this run. Me. Actually helps a fair bit. And that run has such potential too. Alright. So yeah, one of my next big goals is saving up the three thousand, which is not going to happen for quite a while. What's that one? Lightning. I think that's a chain lightning effect. Fire is a damage over time ignition. That 
Let's see. We've got a battle standard. I forget how that works in this game. Increase move, attack, and throw speed at the beginning of a fight. Okay, so this is like as you enter a combat room, you get some temporary buffing. That's cool. Let's go into that last room because I need a gold. Because I need shops. Aha! Perfect. We got to see the battle standard in action. Yeah, not having to deal with those floor traps is going to be very nice. Also, I find it interesting that there can be, like, enemies and other random happenings in the, um, stairway down rooms. Immediate shop. Float boots. Walk on air. No, that hurts my maneuverability, actually. I think. Try it. Oh no, that literally just gives me the ability to walk over gaps. Okay. I guess I was assuming it were like giving me a floating effect. Which you know, the jump physics in this game, kind of Castlevania-esque. <laughs> Where you're really a fair bit dedicated to your jumps. a key for. Uh, I will bomb my way into a room. Mushroom grows in darkness. On it. Nightshade thrives in the darkness. extra gold for me. Yeah, I have the feeling that similar to my uh, Rogue Legacy playthrough, we're gonna have gold runs and we're gonna have progress runs. It's largely gonna depend on later on what the first relic is. Currently, it's just kind of every run is a gold run. <laughs> Let the slime kind of fall off and whatnot. So, yeah, I can just walk on air. Nice. Ow. Ow. That one was on me. but I still don't know how secret rooms generate in this game. I'm gonna discover it by accident, more or less. 
So the way down is already over there. Which is weird, because this isn't like the boss floor. Huh. Increases experience gain for a familiar. I don't need another bomb, but I will take some health. Oh no. Oh, and he doesn't even, like, drop a key or bomb. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if I find a room with like a ton of gold, I'll definitely pop a potion. But it's just like one or two more rocks. because rocks seem to drop consumables sometimes. Oh dear, this is a very interesting and horrifying room. My god. Wait, where did the worm thing come from? The lurker. Oh god. Well, there's a secret room. Achievement unlocked, demolitionist. Let's go for the secret room. <laughs> right, there's someone in that room down there, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop the heal potion. Oh, it's you. Oh, you trade consumables. Oh, that's interesting. Welcome to Black Rabbit's Bazaar, where the wares are weird and the prices are weirder. Feel free to purchase the items on the tables, or maybe I can entice you with a proposition of my own. Would you consider selling me one of those super duper relics that you're carrying? Can I choose the one? Yes, I can. Okay, um, let's sell the float boots. As always, peasant friend, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Stay safe. I like my business associates alive and in one piece. It's better for business that way. Okay, see you around. Oh, that is very interesting. She will buy relics. So if she's on a floor, it's worth taking even bad relics. If there's no ability to, uh roll them on the floor. We do have one more um, room to check. Didn't actually have Thorium in it, sadly. Come on. Oh, I should have popped the potion. Oh well. There you go. You leveled up, and now we get even more money out of. Well, money. <laughs> Sadly, no access to the relic shop, or the relic barrel. Buy the bomb, because why not? 
Uh, I'm not going to trade in health for a relic that's not super good. Increases defense at critical health, it said. Floor will have the boss. It has all these spots around it. If I drop a bomb, well, that's not where I wanted it. Or maybe I just need to place a bomb on it. Okay, that's what it is. Discover the blast cap. Um, I legitimately. I know I mentioned that, you know, I've watched a playthrough-ish. It's more of a, like, a highlight of a playthrough. But, um, I don't know slash remember the character quest solution stuff. So I am figuring that stuff out on my own. And you guys know that I'm very open if I'm using a guide. <laughs> uh, shop is down here. I'd like some health. Whiplash Serum, Health, and a Bomb. I would have preferred a key, but oh well. Oh, talk! Would you like to join our loyalty program for 1,200 gold? Yes! Excellent, I'll send my assistant to set things up in your lobby. Thank you for being a late loyal patron of our shop, and we look forward to future transactions. Oh, look at him. So that's how we upgrade the shop to have more stuff, I think. That might be a shrine down there, I don't know. Ooh, two keys. No, that's the... relic sacrificing thing. Access the relic room. Right, I sold the thing. Uh, that's the nitroglycerin. Fiery loops. I don't like this. Don't set oil gloops on fire. Note to self. Um. I guess Nitroblister is going to be a poor use anyway. So we did get actually a fair bit done on this run. I think this one was when we also got the Nightshade. we get is unstable concoction. Gold hits the floor with explosive force. It does damage when it goes around. Okay. I like that. So this is a dungeon entrance. Okay. Um, we're not beating the first boss here on this run. I'm just going to be open and honest about that. <laughs> um, ooh, money. Aha! Uh -huh. That's definitely a secret room, because it's sparkly. You need to pay attention to that kind of thing. Sparkly. That's... well... it's 20 health. No! Barely don't make it. 
Uh, that was foolish of me. Okay, I gotta value the ability to walk on gaps much more highly. Down we go! Okay, you can't hurt yourself with bombs. Good to know. 200 gold. Oh, we'll see what that gets us at. Oh, right. Yeah, the slime shops are expensive. Got it. Oh, it's 2k for that, not 3k. Alright, um... Yeah, let's just get the leather gloves. More throw damage, I guess. And just see what replaced the scan glass. Oh, nothing replaced them for now. Okay. So if we look here, it's $4,000 to expand the shop's special item supply, which I think is relics. $700 to expand the shop's food supply. $1,000 for basic items, which is, um, you know, stuff like keys, bombs. For the sake of longevity, I... That was weird. Uh, there was a weird effect on the throw. I think that food is definitely the first one to go for there. There's a secret room there. I'm just gonna go use on that secret room. That's honestly a worthwhile secret room if I can get a second key. careful about the pressure plates. out not only on that little bit of gold, but potential consumables inside the rocks. Spare ordnance. Discover a bomb in every chest. Oh, that's actually really good. Especially super early on. Now, can we please get a chest right now? <laughs> two bombs. Yeah. So, I guess the play is to go up here. Not sure what lighting those would, up would do. Expend the two keys. Too. 
Oh, and it does affect gold chests. Good. Oh, they can't spawn on the stone tiles because they tunnel up. That is attention to detail that I really like. I know this slows down the run a bit, but I mean, come on, it can be super good. So now that I have four bombs, first of all, I want to use one just to get that key, because keys are super important. Keys equal relics. And shops. This was the relic room, right? So then I pull the lever to create this path, and spend that bomb. So I got all my bombs back. profited some gold. It took a while, but it was very worth it. Which is kind of the thing that makes this game interesting. All those things that take a while, but are worth it. By the way, if I'm observably false about, like, some the mechanic. Like, if I'm like, oh, they can't spawn on tiles, but then they do later, feel free to correct me. Take advantage of that. Ooh, the bomb bag in there. Hey, you can't get stuff out of the corners. There we go. I'm curious what I'm gonna be low on for this run, though. I have actually a good number of keys and bombs. Oh, this is a very important room <laughs> for crossroads here. Yes, there's a relic here. Salamander tail. I like that one. And then shop is down here. A glycerin. Drop gold cons continuously. Oh no, I think that bomb might- okay. Bombs can actually, like, damage collectibles, and if you do it too much, then they break. In part, this is to prevent, um, too much use of the relic that lets bombs reroll items. Oh no, bye, bye. 
stop spawning so I can just buy the bomb. So I did profit off of the uh, glycerin. Especially since I leveled up my canary. On the second floor, <laughs> my god. Um, that's a chest, I... Huh. Why is that still glowing? Oh, there was a mini chest. Okay. One key for... Well, it's two chests, so I think it is worth it. Found a bomb! Just give me all of the friggin' bombs, man. God, I have so much money. Oh, and there's a secret room right here. With so much more money. I'm just gonna collect it. You can get in its third level passively, it's way less important. extra money whenever, uh, helpers show up. Oh, does one pill for spawn for each gold nugget, I wonder? We're ten minutes on gold mine, too. I deserve that. Okay, so I can walk on the actual rail. Good to know. There is a familiar that I'm probably just going to use way more because it detects uh, secret rooms, but the extra gold from this canary is super good early game. I say familiar, I think they're officially like followers or something. Should have gone to that room to the left here. Because a lock room could be super good. And it is, it's the relic room. Knight's pendant. You'll more swing damage at high health. Okay. Just free damage whenever I'm not taking a ton of hits. Cool, cool, cool. Like, even down, like, 70 health, I get 5 free extra damage per hit on swings, not throws. I don't really care about sacrificing a relic. Like, the Salamander Tail isn't an amazing relic, but I don't know what sacrificing it does, more or less. She's selling for bombs. I think that exclamation point means that's a character quest down here. Yep. We've discovered all of the mushrooms. That is great news. I can now leave this place. Thank you, stranger. Baba will be pre pleased. You've done me a great service. Please visit us in the laboratory on the top level. There I will present you with a token of thanks. Oh, neat. Friend in need. Alright. Oh, it's a chest opening game. 
Oh, oh, my girl, back in the house. My girl in the house. Black Rabbit's chess game house. Please, hey, you pay me 400 gold and you can open three chests. It's a good deal. It is, actually. I want the blueprint most of all. Oh, come on. I get bombs and a ton of gold out of it either way, so. That fourth Oreo, not bad. Read on your face. The game lived up to and exceeded your expectations, didn't it? I really do know how to make a good game. I'll see you around, fashionable one. I didn't pay attention to if I made money there, but. Let's see here. Chest in a bottle. Drop around the chest. Yes. And of course, key and food. I don't know why. Got discount. It's a mimic. Ow. Drop the bomb bag. At least. <laughs> I don't know if that was really worth it, but. Eh, I'll pay a key. Zerker Spirit, take it and deal more damage. Dangerous, I like it. Because you're gonna die in these games anyway. And we are nowhere close to a winning run. Because that is much later into the game. Um, I think I will sell the Knight's Pendant though, because that's not actually a lot of damage, even at max health, I think. Well, uh, more damage is actually... I'll sell them. I'll sack the Salamander Tail. See what I get out of it. Wait, what? Okay, maybe I just don't understand the room. Oh, it's so that you can drop a relic. Or not. Oh, no. I can live without it because fire is a little too chaotic for my taste, actually, I'm finding. Feel free to yell at me for not seeing sparkles for secret rooms, by the way. I deserve it. <laughs> Uh, let's go shop first. Um, we're all glycerin. Healing key. Yeah. Even if I'm just gonna let them take it, I get so much money off of it anyway. Sale. And our relic is the butcher's knife or butcher's cleaver. Sometimes drop it meat from your enemies. Ew. I mean, ew, but also ooh. Very desirable. That's you guys. Ah. 
I just enjoy that even bomb requiring chests are now literally free. Or a check of if I have. How did I get a fish from a fly? Ooh. Random drop of food. Take it. is blessing me for a win against the boss. Heck yeah. Let's go! still a really good gold run. The lab is now unlocked. Go away. This laboratory is closed. Master, I've returned with your lunch. I apologize for the wait. Oh, ho, ho. aren't you a slow creature, Beltram? I sent you away yesterday. You've fallen short of my already tempered expectations, but I cannot feed on disappointment. Bring them in. We have 1,800, not enough for the Echo Blast, sadly. Let's go check out the lab, though. Oh ho ho, what have we here, Beltram? What stray animal has followed you home? This is Baba, or this Baba is my human friend. They assisted me in my quest for the mushrooms. No, wait. This is a different human servant. Have they all been different? <laughs> no matter. I can see that Arcanos' servants wander beyond their boundaries. But you've been useful to me. Listen closely, peasant. If you or your ilk find recipes in the mines, you can return them to me and I will teach you the alchemy. Let my generosity be known. Human friend. Enough s Or, no. Oh, human friend. Enough sulking, Beltrame. You have work to do. I appreciate your help with the mushrooms. Baba enjoyed her lunch very much. Here, take this for your trouble. Recipe for an apprentice's tincture. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to dabble in alchemy, do you? Bring me poet recipes and I'll show you how to brew them into something useful. So if I click brew, just like the relics, we can spend thorium to unlock uh, potions. There are also upgrades here. Uh, sloth berry, increase potion duration, and empty bottle, carry an extra potion. Both are very useful, but not quite yet. Or at least not important quite yet. Let's see here. 
definitely want to go into the potato sack. And the blue steel pickaxe for more swing damage. And the stone axe for more swing damage. And the burlap sack for more HP. That's all here, and I think all here. Well, let's go ahead and buy the Bishop Signature series for the extra bomb damage. And... Oh, you can hit Peep. Looks like a merchant stand. Oh, you can start with relics eventually. Next time on Let's Play Undermine... We have 30 swing damage off the bat. We'll see how well we can get. See you guys then.